Welcome back to the baby. Hey. Fucking your mouth like a bunghole. <laughs> I just said bunghole. You did say bunghole. <laughs> <laughs> like it's 1998. It's fucking welcome back. Oh my god, bunghole. Uh, I was gonna do the intro. B- welcome back to the bung bing bing bing. Yeah, welcome back to the basement yard. Thank you guys so much for uh, having me. Josh, leave all that in. <laughs> uh, wait. I was just saying, leave, leave that in. Call him. Yeah, at least call him with wow, your fucking. Wow, usually edit stuff out. Now we're leaving stuff in. With your military don't haircut. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. With your military haircut. Thank you what so much. What the fuck happened? I just got it. So you need a day for it to, like, at least. They, like, did they. They fucked up. Who's they? You think there's a team of people cutting my hair? Who fucking knows with the amount that you can fucking. Oh, yeah, you know. I don't. <laughs> you I know. I was there. They don't knock you out. They pushed your hairline back a little far, bud. Well, what are you going to do? Sometimes you got to. You know, tell me you're balding. No, no, no. I just have a white person hairline. They're. Classically, mm, not I don't good. Know. P- push, push your bangs up. Push, 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 push it push, up. Push, push your bangs. All right, you're not that bad. You got a fucking throbbing head vein, though. God oh almighty. yeah, no, yeah, that keeps me alive. Does it? Yeah, I mean, it feeds bl- blood to my brain or oh. or something. It's somewhere. It might take blood from your brain. <sighs> that I don't know. Yeah. Well, we're not doctors. I could feel it at the direction of the flow. But you, yeah. Do veins go in one? Okay, this is gonna be. Here we go. <laughs> Starting off hot. Welcome back. No, I was gonna say like vein. So like your veins. Yeah. Is blood only going one way, or is this like a two-way street? That's a good question. Guess what? I don't know. I think it's one way. It's got to be one way, and then they have to have wait, like wait, the wait. other wait. side of the highway going the other way. That can't be true because like you ever see like a like a diagram of veins? No. Well, okay. I think I've seen the one of like the nerve endings. No, no, no. I'm talking about like veins, veins, right? So like a vein goes into your finger, right? There's veins everywhere. Yeah. But there, is it? Does it just like turn up? Like, is there a U-turn? Like, there's a U-turn. There's a U in there. Or does it end? It has to end. I would. I would assume every vein has a beginning and end. Yeah. Well, that should be. That would be a really good rock, like punk rock song. Every vein starts and finishes. Sign me up. <laughs> no, I. I think I, I agree with you on that one. I think it like you know like if you push water against the wall, like it comes back a little bit with waves. With waves, exactly. Which so, is like, what pulses. It, Exactly. It's not it. <laughs> it's the heart. So I think, I think if you like, like in the middle, it like mushrooms around the sides, and the sides it goes back. I think that's what it is. I think we just figured it out. What does the end of a vein look like? Black. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> no. <laughs> something about that seems oddly insensitive. Yeah, when a white guy says black nowadays, you gotta go wait. Yeah. You know. I don't like. What color's your car? Black. Whoa. <gasps> <laughs> I don't like I, I want to like ask like what's the appropriate terminology now that people won't get offended when you when you refer to their skin tone you can say black I, I, that's what I think you're brown olive but I think it's really like the way no nah, brown is like Indian I don't think anyone uses the term brown 100% they do do they yeah who Indians do they yeah I didn't know that yeah they're like yeah I'm a brown guy like, um, they say brown I didn't I didn't know that I didn't know that but Calling like, Asian people yellow now. That we're, yeah, now, we're now we're approaching territory. Back up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying. What other like? I guess there aren't any other skin tones besides like white, brown, black, yellow. Well, don't. There he is. Cancel him. Got him, guys. Which, I got him. I picked him up. I got him and picked him up. Which one? <laughs> the yellow. You just said yellow. Oh well, no. I'm. You know. It's a caricature. I get that, Joey. Well, yeah. I get that. I don't even. I guess, like, back in, like, the 40s when there was all this propaganda about Jews, like, weren't they, like, depicted as being, like, lizards or something like that? Um, just, that I don't just know. Let's just tiptoe back away so, from What this about one. the Irish? Was, weren't they doing something? They were, the Irish are red. Were they? Dude, you guys are no, red. No, no, no. Native Americans were. Yes, but, like, the Irish, that, that classic Irish flush. Oh, in the face. Yeah, dude. Because we're always drinking? Always. <laughs> No one gets upset when you say things about the Irish, because like they haven't like there have been points in time where they were oppressed, but like not as much as like other people, you know. Dude, you gotta fight the Irish. You just put the sun out. They all run. That's they, it. They scatter like I, like cockroaches. I knew someone who punished their kid by making them sit in the sun. Dude, that's fucking hysterical. Yeah, and what a weird like just beat your kid, dude, like I, a normal that, person. No, like that's the thing. <laughs> that's the thing is make them sit in the sun and then beat them. Oh, you hit a sunburn? You hit a sunburn. You're <laughs> fucking people up. Yeah, yeah it was it was uh, at, the, at the lake house. Uh, our buddy, uh, well, I won't say their name, but oh. um, made him, he, he got in trouble for stealing his parents' cigarettes with, with my brother. 
and they hid for the whole day. Did they slam cigs? I don't know if they slammed them. I don't think they did. Probably. Wait, why did so they were like, you're gonna get sunburned? No, so their 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 parent was like, Yo, just put him to sit on the deck in the sun until I get home from work. And it was like noon. And they didn't get home until like four. That's hilarious. Fucking hysteric. Like, don't move. Just sit in a fucking chair in the sun for Damn. the whole day. That's kinda like holes. You remember that movie? Yes. I want to get creative like that when I punish my kids. But yo, just go in the yard and dig a fucking hole. Like that's what I'm like. Look I don't for wanna, treasure. I don't want to like like the classic like give me your toys. You you know sit in your room for an hour. Like that doesn't work anymore because kids go in the room and they have yeah. everything at their disposal. Put some, put some effort into this punishment. Don't just jab your kid in the mouth. Like let's just let's come up with something cool. I heard one the other day. That I think I'm gonna do. Go ahead. You make the kids throw out their own toys. Damn, that's gangster. That's so fucking thug. My dad never threw out our toys. Actually, one time he smashed uh, a Rex toy. St- Remember the dinosaur oh, from Toy Story? Damn, not Rex. Love that toy. The but big he, one. But out me, uh, it was like it was like this big. Oh, like the candle. oh god. Sorry, Kelly. Uh, but it was like that. But like he was walking down the stairs to come yell at us, and he slipped on this toy. Oh. Big man, big tree fall hard. Yeah, you also had one step in going into your basement that just didn't exist. Yeah, it was absent. It was. <laughs> Guys, no joke. There was one step that there was no step. No step. Uh, we lost a step. Uh, but <laughs> I don't know where it went, to be honest with you. So he no, just it, smashed onto this? Oh, yeah. He hit the ground mad hard. Uh, like He hit like a stair, and then he like slid. He was oh! And then I was like, yo, we are dead. <laughs> and then he picked up this toy, and he's like, you're always leaving your toys around. And he spiked this thing like Gronkowski in Dude, the Super Bowl. And your dad's got... Your dad's got some power behind those rotator cuffs. Oh, yeah. He, if he spiked that, that thing was shattering into a million pieces. It, well, well, it did. Really? Yeah, he fucking spiked it. But that was the only time. But another time he threatened. The one time, literally, he said this to me. He told me and my brother. I forgot what we did. Probably something stupid. And then he was like. Surprise. Surprise. He was like, I'll go get the miter saw and make you stand behind it while I cut your PlayStation in half <laughs> so that all the <laughs> So that all the shavings oh, fly all over you. That is fucking awesome. He meant it. That is awesome. He never did it, but he really like was creative in, in the ways of, of like threatening. See, it's tough because I play video games, so like I'm not gonna smash the video because like I'll be fucking hurting myself, yeah. you know. But like I think I'm gonna be creative with the kids like that. Like, oh, you love you love this little fucking robot that you made. Guess what? Into the fucking like into an incinerator. Yeah. Like I think just to be petty, I want to get a fireplace. Just to throw toys in it. Yeah. That's a... Wow. See what I'm talking about? Throwing stuff in a fire? Gangster. And like, I'll like, I'll put some of that like, are you afraid of the dark oh. powder on it too? So to it make fucking, it like blue? Poof. Yeah, yeah. You know? Scare so, them. Make them believe in that's ghosts. That's what I'm saying. There was, there was someone that like, when their kids were bad, I saw this online somewhere. When their kids were bad, they were putting, they had wrapped just like empty boxes and put them under the tree. And when their kids were bad, they were just throwing empty cardboard boxes into the fucking <laughs> fire. Awesome. That's a great idea. Awesome. Oh, man. Destroying kids' lives. Just something about it. It's so Dude, fun. Dude, I was having this conversation recently. And you don't, you don't realize because your family is still very young. You know, like the two, your, your two nephews are under one years of age. Yeah. It is psychological warfare with kids. Like, it's no, like, people are always like, you know, be nice and, like, love them. And, yeah, like, the great moments are great. But, like, when you need to fucking, like, let them know who's boss, you need to, like, really, like, dig deep and, like, fuck them up. Not, like, physically. Just you want to ruin them mentally. Exactly. You want to, you want this to leave a lasting impact until they're 45. It, at least. <laughs> at least 45. Yeah, man. But I, I want to get creative like that, man. I just want to, like, threaten them with weird shit. Like, I'd be like, oh, you, oh, you love coffee cake? I bought three, and I'm spiking all of them. Every single one. Right in front of you. Being like, I'm throwing this one against the wall. I feel like sometimes you need to just get them things to then take it away. Yeah. Like, let them know that they're fucking little bitches. (laughs) You always get violent with children. I'm not. I've never never put my hands on a kid. (laughs) You're fucking under 30. (laughs) I would hope not. Can you imagine? There have been times where I've wanted to punch kids right in the fucking teeth. Not my own or anyone in my family, but like other kids. Strange kids. Yeah. Strange children. Uh, well, I mean, they're the best candidate to punch because no one finds out. Yeah. They're like, who, who's going to find out? Just give them a fucking knuckle sandwich. Yeah, you know. And then you go, you tell me and I'll hit you again. Yeah. That's it. Let them take that home. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let them fight those demons. I got to do it. I got to do it. Becca always says like, you know, just remember your kids are going to see these episodes one day. And when they do, 
they're punished because you shouldn't you be, should watching be fucking this. watching this. I'm coming in your room right now and hit you. <laughs> Can you imagine? If I time that correctly, where I kick the fucking door down when they're watching this, sign me up. Yeah, I mean, you go down in history. That like would, Rudolph. The red-nosed reindeer. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> that would be really, really good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You look cozy today. Cozy? That's a bigger shirt than you normally yeah, wear. Yeah, it's a bigger shirt. Is that like a... What is that? Let me guess, Joey. That's a medium on your twink fucking body? No, it's a latch. Oh, it's a large. Sometimes. That's what Joey looks like. That's what Joey looks what like that? in a large. Did I didn't you just mean to try to fight your. I did. I did. You tried to fight your. Um, I was gonna say your umbrella. <laughs> we're both fucked up. We're both. We're a little stressed. Let's be honest. <laughs> trying to fight your umbrella. We're we're a little stressed. I found out I could possibly be cursed. That's right. You did. I might be cursed. Like full well, on. Well, I think might is a stretch. I think definitely is more so your speed. I think that might be it. Yeah. How have you been sleeping? Uh, well, we'll back up. I'll 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 preface this. Yeah. Okay. So for those of you guys that don't know, my wife, incredible woman, great woman, so smart. Yeah. Except for now. Just an idiot right here. Right here, a fucking idiot, <laughs> babe. Sorry. Yeah. You know, I, I I I she's great. Oh oh beautiful. Like you know. Yeah. But right now? Fucking not what? not. We should throw her out. Like for so a second. Just a second. Put she, her in the garbage. She she's a lot more so I'm not religious. She's not really religious either, but she is more in touch with faith. Yes. Than I am. So she always believes in like these like this was this is a sign from God. For sure. And you know, I sometimes struggle with if I believe in God. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. You know, hey, Thanks for what you've so far bestowed upon me. But also, remember when you almost, you put a softball in my ass. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, ferrets. like <laughs> Ferrets, ticks. Yeah. I think you were going to say tits. I was going to say, wait. <laughs> <laughs> but, so she's walking on the beach. And she's like, happy. Which, good. Happy place. That's where I want her to be. Yeah, happy, happy beach. I don't like the beach. That's another story. For sure. She walks past brush, like, on the beach. Where, like, yeah. you know, fucking garbage is. <laughs> and, and she finds, she, she, like, double takes and looks back and sees a head. She pulls out a wooden, like, totem mm -hmm. of a fucking person with a baby on the front and a baby in the back. And then the, a carving of a fucking spider. Demon objects. It's, it's, we're done. Yeah. And she's like, she sent me a picture and I was like, listen, cute, put it the fuck down. Run. Get the fuck out of there. Yeah. And she was not Say doing it. Say three Hail Marys and an act of contrition. That's what I'm saying. Like, go, like, wash your hands in holy water. Yeah. Like, it's not just about COVID washing now. You need to wash away the demons. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And she brought it home. Mm hmm. Which room is it in? The, the, we, we're, in there, in just in, like it, it's 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 presence in it is in every room. Is it like in the living room? It's yeah. Well, it's alive then, because that's a living room. And I'm like, this is some fucking Jumanji shit. You yeah. know, you hear the beating of the drums on the fucking beach, and then there's spiders that come for the ceiling. Yeah. Well, yeah, what is she doing? This is why. This is why. You know, we. This is everyone has flaws. You know what I mean? Just point point out my wife's flaws. Go. <laughs> Yo, fuck the fight. <laughs> there's a video. <laughs> There's a clip from this podcast that went viral <laughs> of you going <laughs> that you said I couldn't call you something or something. And I was like, all right, what can I call you? And you're like, fat. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> fat. Oh, my God. It's so funny. Yeah. yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, she's great. But, uh, you know, my voice cracked. And like, I haven't been sleeping well. Well, that's because there's a demon hiding in your house. There has to be. There's a demon object. Look, if there's a demon in there, he's watching this. Take it easy on me. <laughs> yeah. You know? Just let me sleep. But, like, seriously, what if this is, like, some, like, spiritual thing that, like, is from the Titanic? It's not. I actually heard a conspiracy about the Titanic, that it wasn't the real Titanic. Here we go. And it was a different boat. Like, what? I give a shit? A boat sank. <laughs> I mean, a lot, of people, a lot of people died. A lot well, of people still died. No, but I'm saying, like, it doesn't matter what the name of the fucking boat was. That wasn't Titanic. That was the, the sulfur. Like, yeah. cool. That was the Queen Mary. Shut the... Who, I don't... A boat went down, lady. Who cares? Yeah. I've, I've always wanted to, like... The, Leo died! 
Damn. Spoiler, by that, the way. Yeah. Well, <laughs> let him know. Leo I mean, dies. You don't want end. you don't want them to be caught off guard. <laughs> yeah. Would you have saved Leo? Like, like, sorry. Like, maybe die. Uh, mm, yeah. The water's cold. I don't want to go in there. I don't want to go in there. <laughs> yeah. No. These people are like there's room for two on that door. Or room for one very comfortable person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, don't get off. Yeah. If anything, I would have asked for her shirt for a little more warmth. That would have been the opposite. Because she was not as wet. He was in it. Oh, they were wet. But, like, he was he was in the wet. That's true. She would have had to, like, wring it out and, like... Yeah, well, you Girls could... gone wild that shit to get the water out. Well, yeah, you could do that. Could you? I don't know. Or just steal, like, an old rich person's blanket or something i don't know i always wonder would you have would you have jumped on a, a lifeboat would yes you, or would you have been like yo women and children for real i mean depends am i on there with my partner my no, no, wife? no 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 let's just say by that. myself yeah you're right yourself. getting on that fucking boat dude in the matter of life or death in that time also every man for themselves we got polio First, we got, we got stuff. Like, this is, like, I, I am all about doing the honorable thing. But not at sea. But not in the face of death. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> you know what I mean? There's a fire and your kid's just walking slow. Stampede. Stampede. Like, there are different, like, I, I am very well aware. The reason I have not gotten into, like, public service is because I am too selfish in that regard. Mm. Like, these people that are like, yo, like, like my heart fucking like bleeds for people that have lost loved ones in like 9-11 and shit because that is that is a level of courage that I will never fucking have like I'm at the level of like yo like maybe I'll like I won't take the last pretzel out of the fucking bowl <laughs> you know I, I'm not there yet yeah those are the honorable things mm -hmm. and I just like I couldn't I, I don't think I could get to that I just feel like you know on land like I, I feel like if I'm walking down the street and I see a burning building and I see like you know a kid like trapped inside like a part of me wants to believe that I'll at least attempt to be like let's see if I could do something here and try to run in the building and save a kid but at sea that kid's going in the water oh my god you know how many octopi are in there yeah a you're lot you're taking a bath you're you're not coming up listen Gerald I would be the type that'd be like uh you know waiting and then like as I'm gonna run in is when the FDNY like shows up like here I go oh you got it <laughs> All right, to fake it. <laughs> I was gonna go. I was ready. You're talking to the news. You know, I was gonna. Run I was. Gonna, in. I was about to run in. You know, they you did... walk over like a piece of wood and you put some dirt on your face. Yeah, and you're yeah. like it was hot in there, man. Just keep talking about the soot. It's like, oh, <laughs> stay low, everyone, stay low. <laughs> keep talking about the soot. Uh, like, you I got just... conspiracies. It could have been the the the, the radiator. On the second yeah, floor. Yeah, yeah. I've seen something like this before. I've seen a fire before. I've saved many buildings. I just, like, I, I know. And, like, that's why, like, this whole thing with this, like, wooden totem that Becca brought in. She was like, what if it's, like, a sign that, like, I'm going to be lucky into my, my motherhood? Ask her if she's ever seen that movie. Because she, I've seen only the opposite of that. That's what I'm saying. She's never, she grew up not watching horror movies. There's not one thing that points into like, oh, you found this on the, even a message in a bottle. You open up a message in a bottle and it's like, oh, this is from a, a family that died uh, at sea because of the pirates. They raped and pillaged and then they, someone wrote a note and put it in a and bottle. And then you're, you bear the, you know, weight of the haunting that is coming. Exactly. I just, she did, she, she grew up not watching horror movies and stuff like that. Her parents were religious to the point where, they were like, don't watch the Smurfs. Don't, the don't Smurfs. watch horror movies. Apparently, it was a big thing in the 80s. Like, Smurfs were like the satanic panic like part of that. I heard something about Smurfs and Jews. Like, it's like a Jewish thing. Oh. Or an anti-Semitic thing. Maybe. I don't know. I mean, Gargamel I looks like what famous oh, that's what it was. propaganda. So that's what it was. Yeah, of a Jewish person. It was Gargamel. Person. Oh, I said this. I said that. We talked about this on, on one of our... Why do I know that? I've like... Looked up like a fact or something. We talked about it on a Patreon episode, which you can go check out. Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard, where you get every single weekly episode a week in advance and exclusive content every single Friday morning. You don't want to miss it. Basement Yard. Go to Patreon.com slash The Basement Yard. Do you like that fucking transition, you that son was, of a that bitch? Was, Josh? Give me a race. Give Frankie a... Uh, uh, no, just kidding. What are we talking about? <laughs> so close. So, yeah. so close. Um... But yeah, yeah, I can't believe that she brought that back. That's like, uh, you know, that's step one. And also, honestly, a little selfish of her because if she, 
I mean, I know she doesn't know this because she doesn't watch horror movies, but you know the minorities die first, so you're the first. You're dead. I'm I'm long gone. And then also she dies very late in the movie, like right before it ends, and then the kids. Well, no, she's are haunted. She's a, she's a, a sex having heathen, so she's dead right after me. <laughs> right. Yes. Yes. That's yes, what yes. it is. The horror movies. It's the the Hispanic or black character first. Of course. Then it's get them out of then the way. It's the, you know? Not that my you know. Then it's the <laughs> sex having one. What does that mean? Oh, someone's having sex actively. Actively having sex. And yeah. then it's the like, you know, like super promiscuous thing. Oh, let's go. Let's go fuck. Yeah, the you hooker. Know, the like hooker. right into it. Well, the hooker. Yeah, well, I mean, I mean, that, I was just being, you know, offensive. Gotcha. I meant just like a promiscuous woman. Gotcha. You could do that, white privilege. And uh, <laughs> then we, and then the virgin is last, obviously. Well, yeah, because, and they're protected by, you know, their pureness or whatever the fuck it is. Yeah, so no one's gonna, no one's, I mean, I'm... Let me ask you a question about virginity. Oh, boy. When do you lose your virginity? Not like an age. Like, what, what act? Like, blow, you blow, you blow someone, right? Let's that's say, not, let's that's not girls. what I consider to be virginity. Okay, there, well, there's like, there's like nine virginities. There's finger virginity, no, jerk no, off no. virginity. But the, oh, you don't have a jerk off virginity. If we do, I tear that to shreds. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if I had a hymen... Good God. That's what I'm saying, man. Arts and crafts time, scissors and everything. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Made a snowflake out of it. Like. You'd be duck walking through a pile of fucking blood. <laughs> That's a disgusting imagery. Yeah. But, um, so like virginity, right? Let's say we're both gals. A couple gals. Yeah. Um, you suck a wiener. You virgin? Or are you like, oh, I lost my mouth virginity. Like, how I, would you bring I mean, that up? I, I don't know. I think it's how you classify. I think from like where we grew up, I don't know if the I don't know like I think the like girls around us when we were kids because we know because we're girls they classify their virginity as sex as as penetrative penetrative vaginal sex right but does a full penis have to enter you or can you like let's just say a tip goes in because I don't like, know I mean I guess it's I guess it's how you I'm not asking you for like I'm asking you for your answer. Oh, my answer? Mm -hmm. I would say like the first bout. Once you breach. Once once you breach, like whether it's like with like it needs you need to get the tip in at least. It needs to be a penis. Because if you like start and you get the hole in, and then you back out like the pee hole. Oh oh, of the tick. Yeah, I was confused. So like this is this is your dick. Of course it is. Minus a couple feet. This is the hole, and like say like the head like ends here. Mm -hmm. You need to get to the head. You need for it to count for that to count. Okay. Yeah. If so you you're don't, saying the 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 as long as the tip is fully in, we've lost virginity. I would say so. Houston, we have a problem. I, I, I would I would say so. That's what I would. That's what I would think. What about anal stuff, dude? There are people that like just like throw that asshole around. Yeah, like religious girls, dude. That's what I'm saying. Apparently, it's like I won't. God won't let me fuck you with my, you know my, my ching chang. Yeah. But like I'm gonna fucking. Throw this booty hole on you. Yeah, exactly. Those girls are like, you can't have my purse, but I got a burlap sack for you. <laughs> and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then they do anal, and they go, "I'm a virgin." It's I, like, yo, your ass. We knew a girl like that in Astoria who reportedly, reportedly, and it came from guys, so it's probably not fucking true. But reportedly, she would not have vaginal sex, but was like, like. Like her asshole buffet style was yeah that's what I'm, it was crab legs at the China buffet you know what I'm saying like anyone just go and grab it yeah, yeah. you know like they were for everyone like that yeah you know, no, I know you know what, what I mean, mean uh, no, I do, consensually I do. that's why it's just confusing because some I remember like thinking like some people are just like oh yeah no butt stuff that doesn't count it's like if you want you a lot of the, people that say that are religious because I think the, the I think from what my understanding of the Bible is which is none. <laughs> it's all about like vaginal sex. I don't think it specifies like into the. Does pull that of... mean they weren't? I mean, they had to have been analing back then. They had to. Dude, the ancient Greeks were well, so in love with buttholes. No, I know they were just firing it up. Dude, yeah. the Spartans were like, "Yo, like I'm gonna go slaughter a whole village, but before before that, tear my ass to shreds." Yeah, dude. it makes me it makes me stronger. That's what I'm like. They were all about it. <laughs> That's crazy, man. Do you ever think people? <laughs> Gosh. And you ever think like at some? Because listen, all right. I always t I like <laughs> you can't even get it out. Listen, to I, him. I like to think that in the beginning of human times, people were just experimenting with their bodies, like trying stuff out, and they're like, okay, nah, that not, not cool, like whatever. Do you ever think <laughs> that some people thought 
that they could eat with their ass, so they put food in it? Without a doubt, there are people <laughs> during history that died because they put a piece of fucking rhubarb in their ass. What the fuck is rhubarb? I don't know, but it's something that would probably go <laughs> like, up Like, I'm there. just imagining people, like, you, you hunt a bison, you cut it up, and they're like, oh, I know I could eat this way, but what about this way? <laughs> and they're just shoving, they're just packing fucking raw meat in their ass? Yeah, which, you know, you get very sick. Couldn't you? From raw meat? In your bloodstream? Like, directly into your... All right, maybe, yeah. But, like, cooked meat? I think you'd be all right. I think so, right? <laughs> Like, how bad could it well, be? Well, corn, we know you're going to be fine because, you know, I'm pooping out corn left and right. Not that I'm eating corn. Well, corn is like the body's, like, kryptonite. The human body can't, like, process corn. Yeah, you could drop a nuke on a cob and it would be fine. Dude, it's complete. it'll make popcorn? Which is a different food. Which, Isn't that nuts? That's kind of crazy to that's me. That's wild. I love popcorn. I'm a food. But I'll be another... Oh, wait, we're an idiot. We're stupid. <laughs> what did we do? But did we just compare... I was thinking corn was popcorn. <laughs> what? I was just thinking corn was popcorn. It is. But not like corn on the cob. Like I mean, if you heat it up. No. Like a corn on the cob. Wait. If you heat up a corn on the cob, I think... Let me just get this ready. So a corn, a corn I, on the cob. I, I think if you... <laughs> wait, hold on. No, because now you're at your thing. You're hold at on, your thing. Hold on. Hold on. I'm, <laughs> wait, hold on. I'm pretty sure. This is bad. I'm pretty sure. Oh, my God. We're so dumb. <laughs> A corn on the cob. You think if you put that in the microwave, it becomes popcorn? After a while. <laughs> What's a while? Two minutes? On high? No, I think it needs to like dry first, right? <laughs> no, I think popcorn kernels are like different, dude. Like, they're like... <laughs> Get gonna... that computer, bitch. <laughs> I, just, I feel like I need to call somebody. Is corn popcorn? That's what I have to look up. Well, it's popped corn, but the corn... It can't be the corn kernels. It has to be like a seed thing. <laughs> like, whatever that is. Yo, this is bad. Each kernel of corn is actually a seed that most seeds contain an embryo. Someone's, Hold on. Someone's, someone's here. delivering a package. Oh, great. I think... I think it's corn, dude. I think it's different. I think popping corn is different from, like, eerie corn. But I'm pretty sure they're one and the same. I mean... Oh, God. I think I'm right. I, I, I am scared of what people are going to think of us. I have a master's degree. He does. <laughs> Not in corn. Not in corn. Not in agriculture. Not in agriculture. <laughs> Absolutely. Food science and agriculture I don't have. Food science is a thing. I think so. Well, it has to be. You have to know. I would assume so. She ends up. Yeah. That's, that's I, don't, I don't know about any of this corn stuff. Oh, man. That is fucking funny. <laughs> you a big popcorn guy? Love popcorn. You burn it, though, right? I love burnt popcorn. Yeah. That's... But fuck all these people that like kettle corn, because guess what? It sucks. Kettle corn's not good. And like these, like people get like blue popcorn. It's just like sugar and popcorn. It sucks too. Also, like caramel popcorn. Caramel corn's a little different. Well, like what about Cracker Jacks? What the fuck is that? Is that popcorn? Yo, I have no idea what a Cracker Jack. I think it's its own line of like human existence. I think that's popcorn. I think it's popcorn just popped in caramel, right? I don't know, bro. But if it wasn't for baseball games, that's no one would eat that. I like I like Cracker Jacks. You've you've eaten it outside of a stadium? Yeah, absolutely. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> Miles like came home with a box one day and was like, "I got this for you." And I was like, "Wow, I forgot. I love he a child gave you Cracker Jacks." What's up? Talk shit. What is he born Dude, in nineteen twenty? I can't wait until your nephews come to you with like a piece of like a fucking Toblerone and they're like, hey, "I got this for you, Uncle Joey. You'll cherish it forever." I'm gonna beat it over their head and say, "Get me a Mike and Ike's," or "Get me a fucking Snickers," like a normal oh, American. Fuck you and Snickers. No, I like Snickers. Fuck Mike and Ike's though, all the way. Fuck them. We've talked about this ad nauseum. Ad nauseum. I think that's what the saying is, right? Yeah, at the mausoleum. <laughs> Getting to the friends of the show. We're getting to the friends of the show. You know, before we get into screaming at each other, uh, let's talk about something nice. Uh, we have what day you should let me do the ads? Cool. Be <laughs> better help. We have better help here. Uh, better help. Um, you can uh, talk to licensed professionals that could help you with online counseling. Um, they have a bunch of licensed professionals, like I said, that specialize in. <coughs> COVID. Start it again. They have. There you go. <laughs> they have a bunch of licensed professionals that specialize in like depression, anxiety, relationships, or any sort of thing that you're kind of going through. They have someone for you. Um, you can get, you can start communicating in just under 48 hours, and it's very easy to transfer counselors to find the right one for you. Um, but if it's something you wanted to try, this is a, a good way to start. Uh, Betterhelp.com/yard. You will get 10% off of your first month if you go to Betterhelp.com/yard. 
Um, but yeah, there's been a couple of people that have reached out to us and said they've been using BetterHelp and they've been talking to a therapist and they enjoy it. You can also text them, you can video chat them or talk to them on the phone, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, betterhelp.com slash yard. You will get 10% off of your first month. So go check it out. Tell me how it is. Uh, let me know. Uh, next, we have stamps.com. Stamps.com brings all the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer, wherever you are. Um, it's a must-have for any business, all right? If you want to print any official U.S. postage, you can do it at any time just from the comfort of your own home. If you have a computer and printer, um, you don't have to wait on any lines at the post office or anything like that. So it's very convenient. And you not only save time, but you save money as well. Uh, you get five cents off every first-class stamp and up to 40% off uh, priority mail and up to 62% off of UPS shipping rates. Um, so, yeah, saving time and money. If you're going to be sending stuff, you might as well be using stamps.com. Um, there's no risk, and with our promo code BASEMENT, you get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale, no long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in BASEMENT. That is stamps.com, and the promo code is BASEMENT. Okay? There you go. Uh, and lastly here, we have Headspace. Headspace, uh, it's the new year. People want to have resolutions. They want to do different things. And some people want to get into meditation. I, at one point in my life, was like super into meditation. Uh, you know, Meditation Joe, as you know. Oh, that's part of it? I don't know. Kind of throw it in there. Uh, but uh, yeah, Headspace is your daily dose of mindfulness in the form of guided meditations in an easy to use app. Very easy. Uh, you kind of have to like work up to a longer sort of meditation. So they give you like a 10 minute experience, 15 minute, 20 minute. Um, but you work your way up. And when you get really good at it, it's a great way to relax and like, uh, you know, kind of clear your head. I think it's very healthy to, to do that from time to time. And Headspace does a great job. <clears throat> and clearly people agree. Uh, clearly, <clears throat> Clearly, people agree. It's falling apart. Uh, because we, it, there's over 600,000 five-star reviews and over 60 million downloads. Okay? So people are using this. It's it's the place to be. Um, but, yeah, go check out Headspace at headspace.com slash basement. That is headspace.com slash basement. Slash basement. Uh, you get a free one-month trial with access to Headspace's full library of meditations for every situation. Uh, headspace.com slash basement today again one free month trial with headspace go check it out go meditate that was nice one day i'm gonna do the ads and that's how you know i've come i've come full circle do you want to do them and one day i'd like you can to do it next week i can do it next week yeah why not? that's really really generous of you or we'll split them if you want to do that i don't know if you want all to right yeah it. baby steps like you introduce me to it you know like put the tip in me and then like figure out like where we can go from there does that count as virginity uh i think it's a little bit yeah i think i'd lose my virginity there what do you think the 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 um uh oh <laughs> oh god the like sexual ladder what's at the bottom oh it's a uh, dry hump oh like sexual or like what could lead to sexual i would say like yo i used to wrap my foot around this girl's leg when i was in 6th grade in class like your foot or your leg so like my leg so like we were, we you were would, like you would Tangle your legs? Yeah, so we were dating. But, like, we didn't want anyone to know. So in class, under the table, we would wrap our legs around each other. This is the person who I would write love notes to, and I would write my name as Chester. <laughs> Why'd you do that again? So we didn't get caught, obviously. Okay. You know. Was there a Chester in your class? Nope. So who did the teacher think Chester was? Not me. <laughs> <laughs> you used to hug her leg with your leg. I, like just like wrap our legs around each other and it was like so i remember it was so like that was the way that we showed our affection at that point because like we weren't gonna like hold hands because what were we gay you know <laughs> <laughs> like that was the, that was at the time like that was the way that it was like guys would make fun of you like our friends would make fun of us oh you're holding the girl's hand yeah you oh you're, you're holding her hand what are you gonna do you know play with their balls next like, <laughs> it, no like it was fucked up like it was it was mean yeah. You know, but that's how we would show, like, our affection back then, you know? That's good. I remember uh, in, what grade was that? Maybe seventh grade or eighth grade, I was dating this girl, and we used to hold hands in this one class we had the entire time. When I tell, uh, she just read, she was like, did a real good job. She ran hot, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know what that means. She had a very high natural body temperature. Oh, she had hot palms. Hot palms. Very we hot. Were, it was wet in there. Yeah. It was. And there, and literally, I'm not making this up. At points, I had to be like, I got 
Yeah, man. But I, I get right back in And the it pool. was also like the heat of the moment, too. Like, you were probably amped that you were holding hands with a girl. Fully erect. You know, you, mean, were, you were definitely pretty pumped. Anything, touching a girl's back in eighth grade was fire. Feeling a bra strap? Dude. I, do you remember when it was like a thing? It was like, can you unclip a bra? You like, know how hard that is? <laughs> what, what I'm saying? But like, that is like, I just like realized that now. Like, that's no longer a thing. You know what I mean? Like Everything was one-handed, too. It's like, can you undo a bra with one hand? Or can you open a condom with one hand? It's like, bro, what am I? Who, fucking oh, David Blaine? Oh <laughs> Who the fuck did they think you were? Chris Angel? Yeah, it was it's like, like... It's on. Yeah. Or mind like, freak. A bra, it's like... Fuck. Duh. It's like, all right, come on. I remember, I, I remember that there were girls that had the bra that clipped in the front. Oh, now we got clips. It's like science now. Yeah, Jesus. You know, bras aren't meant to be science. There's those one bras that have like a little fucking like it, it's a maze. I gotta like find the hole to get out. Wait, it's what? Like, yeah, it's like it's, it's a weird those. clip. I don't remember those, but the sexual. I would say like the sexual ladder would be just like hugging, or like oh, like are you meaning like we're gonna we're in a room alone and it's starting now? No, no, no. I'm not saying like. One time, I'm saying like naturally, basically the bases. You know what I'm saying? But there's more than four bases. Like first base is this, second base is this, blah blah blah. I'm saying the the very minimum. I would say like intense making out. Oh, like like, and I'm not talking like I'm talking like to the point where it's like you don't care about like the idea of kissing anymore. You're just trying to get your tongue down that person's throat and yeah. vice versa. Sometimes you're like, I hope our teeth clash. Dude, there, there are teeth clashings going I've on. Clashed, all of them. I've clashed teeth. That's what you I'm ever saying. You clash teeth with a girl while you're making out with her, and then you feel like you're tasting like smoke. What? What? <laughs> like you know when you go to the doctor, uh, the dentist, and they like drill, and it's like this has like a, but it has like a smoky feel to it, like a taste. Like a little a smoky, bit, yeah. But yeah, yeah, yeah. like you chip your tooth or something, or you 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 really grind a tooth. You're oh like, no! Like a little smoke. I'm not sitting there just fucking like starting fires in each other's mouths. No, I'm not trying to do that either. I mean, I, I mean, you know. Sometimes it happens by accident. Uh, no, that, that that I could say I I cannot say that. Uh, what about lip biting? You like that? I hate it. Yeah, it kind of stupid. I think it's like just like it's like if cliche. you want, if I want to feel pain, smack me in the fucking face. You know? Have you ever been smacked in the face? No, me neither. Oh, I was gonna say. Me neither, me oh, neither, damn, me I was gonna ask you a lot about that. Me neither. No, no, no. I never never have that smack in my face. Do you think it would be cool? Um, I don't. Listen, I've been. I'll say this. If you smack me in the face, get ready to get smacked. <laughs> have you have you ever <clears throat> given a little love smack in the face? I think so. I think I have. You think or you know? Well, I don't. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, I but, but like, if you hit me, like, we're having sex. Things are gonna happen. Like, yeah, things are gonna be reciprocated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you punch me, I'm not gonna punch you. But you just open the door. Like, I could a, a close a closed <clears throat> fist in the middle of sex. That's a that's that's antagonistic. You're starting a war at that point. It also just like gives me permission to to what I don't know to what give you a punch <laughs> like in the rib. I don't think uh, in the and that's no. the other thing. Like, what do you punch the butt? You know how sad it must be to punch a butt? Yeah. Tang. Like, that's... Uh, it's not... It, it, Can you do that one more time? Tang. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to punch a butt. It's not going to sound like that. What does it sound like? Son. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it sounds like that at all. Punch... Can I punch your butt? You want to punch my butt? Right now. Okay. <clears throat> I won't do it hard. Let's get that right there. Does that sound like me? It was pink. I don't have a metal ass. <laughs> what was it? We need to get that sound clipped. We'll run it back. Josh, make sure you clip that. Me pounding Joe's ass. Oh, damn. You pounded me. <laughs> Just pounded him on the show, dog. Yeah. <laughs> pounded him in front of the whole live audience. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, I've, never, I've never been a puncher or a punchy. <clears throat> no, I've never punched anyone. I wouldn't. I, I'm not, you know, that's great. I'll smack somebody, but like, if they wanted me to. Spit? Hell yeah. Yeah? Not in, on someone. Oh, whatever. I'll just... Just do it? Yeah, yeah. Piss. Now... No, well, I'm not getting pissed on. If I'll tell you this. I'll piss on someone. I'll tell now. you this. <clears throat> if and when we get to 10,000 patrons, you let me piss on you, you best believe that you're going to have to get let someone get you piss on you in real life for sex. Why? Why not? Because. If you do it for money, you'll do it for sexy. That Those are the rules. Where are those written down? <laughs> 
<laughs> I got them written down. You do down. it for money, you do it for sexy. I do. I got it written down. No, I mean, uh, <laughs> no, I'm not getting pissed on. That I won't do. I'm mm-hmm. not into that. You sure about I'll that? I'll pee on someone if they like really wanted me to. Sure. If they were just like, eh, no, I'll try. Like, I don't know if I would be, if I would do it if someone was like, whatever, I'll try it. Whatever. They'd have to be like really into it and they'd be like, all right, fine, I'll fucking piss I don't think me. I could ever piss on someone, ever. Why? It's kind of funny. No, because like the <laughs> idea, no. me, listen, I. You got radioactive pee? Probably. I am so like, in my life, I am constantly, like, I want to make. My wife happy. Like, that's that's what I want to do. Cool. But the idea of me pissing on someone to make them happy, yeah. I think that's where I draw it. Well, I think the point is, is to make them upset, which makes them happy. That's fucked up. Yeah, well, it's that's a circle of love and life. That's not... No, it isn't. <clears throat> yeah. conflicting, conflicting right there. Some people want to be just like... Deme- de- what's the word? What's the verb? Demean? Demean me. Yeah, like, you know de- what I mean? De- deface me. De punch me. De, de-, 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 de- smack de- me. De piss me. De piss on me. De piss on me. You know what I mean? Yeah. So sometimes, but that, you know, that's why, you know, I wouldn't be able to do anything if the other person wasn't into it. Well, well, th- then, yeah, because it would be classified as a crime. No, I mean, like, if a girl was like, oh, like, if you were really into fucking, I don't know. You would need it to be like a yes, not like a yeah. ah, let's try it. Yeah, like yeah. It, not like I don't want her to be like doing me a favor. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. all right, fine. Since you're give into me, it. give me a squirt. But I would, well, <laughs> <laughs> give me a squirt. Top me off. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I yeah, I couldn't I couldn't do that. What are we talking about now? We got anyway. Someone posted on Twitter, and I'm gonna make sure I fucking talk about this. It was like a clip, and it was like t- uh, this guy. It was like a TikTok or something, and it was like. All podcasters be like, yeah, I just really want to talk about, you know, just like if I can really quick. And the guy's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like, you know, just want like conversation. And it's like, haha, the basement yard. It was like, all the way, fuck you. Yeah. I know that clip's going viral right now on like TikTok and like everywhere, honestly. And they're (laughs) not the show for it. Listen, (laughs) if you think that's what we are, fuck you. Yeah, because we went through a bunch of topics already. Talked about. What do we talk about? Exactly. What not popcorn probably is or isn't. <laughs> you <laughs> you know, know, we talk about that. Holding legs. Holding legs. Holding legs. With other legs. With other legs. That was another one. A, a wooden idol being cursed. Demons. Like, this is what I'm saying is like... Where are you going to get that? You're not anywhere else. Yeah. Not where, anywhere Where are you going to learn about corn? Tell me. From here, because we taught you. Not Joe Rogan. Oh, yeah. Joe Rogan. Well, Joe Rogan probably will. He, he probably will have like a He'd corn probably have scientist. like an agriculture scientist on to be like, actually, popcorn is a separate strain of the genus of corneosis. And yeah. it's like, fuck you. Damn, that sounded smart as shit. I know, I know. Well, Joe Rogan's pretty cool. Come on the show again. And Joe, come on the show. Text me. Yeah. Text me back. Back, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, write us back. We have a lot I have of, his number. We've put out a lot of feelers. <laughs> Not in return. Yeah. Well, I don't know if we have put out a lot of feelers. Uh, we've put out oh, exactly two. Oh, on this show two. we have exactly. Idris, Idris Elba. Come Idris on the Elba, show. That's another one. I Kelly just Clarkson. Well, Kelly. Famously, we got denied. Well, Kelly, we really went after. If <laughs> nobody else, Mrs. Kelly Clarkson right Pieces there. Of shit. Yeah. Kelly. You want to, like, who's the next celebrity we should ask to come on the show? Um, Can you know. use, like, your fucking connects? Like, don't you know famous people? <laughs> Who do you want? Who do you want to get on the show? Real, realistically, who yeah, do yeah. I want on the show? Yeah, Ted Danson or something. That would be fire. Um, he's a tall man. Isn't he's he? huge and slender. He's like, yeah, he's like, a, he looks. He like looks a, like he grew up in a townhouse. You know what I mean? Like, it's just. He just looks like the persona. Like he just looks like a book. Exactly. Like yes. the spine of a book. He looks like the spine of a book. That's exactly you know? what he looks like. Yeah. yeah, he looks like a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um. <laughs> I feel like he smells like a book too, which I like to smell. Of I'm books. all for smells of books. I love books. You're never gonna hear me complain about the smells of books. No. Um, realistically, who do I want on the show? Shia LaBeouf. Oh wait, actually no, he's no, kind of in the middle of getting canceled right now. Dude, he's getting like he's getting thrown. He was he's like, getting throttled. He was like beating up his ex girlfriend. Yeah, or something, yeah. So like maybe not him. Her. All right, definitely not him. All right, that'd be a tough combo. Yeah, and he like would come on and like cry, which. I don't know if I'm ready for a cryer on yeah, the show. Yeah, he's also very artistic. This isn't Other People's Lives, the other show from San Agata Studios, which you can check out right now. Yeah, I mean, that's a... Oh, yeah, you go check out... Oh, wow! Josh? 
Guys, We're getting so much closer to a raise, guys. Other, <laughs> other people's lives. It's another podcast that me and uh, Greg die back to. Some of you know have heard of it, um, but. <clears throat> Uh, you can go to youtube.com slash other people's lives or just listen to it on Spotify, iTunes, wherever. We're back for our 11th season. Very excited for it. One of my favorite shows to do. <laughs> One of my favorite. I do too. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, fuck. Yeah. So it's what fun. What do I got to do? Yeah, no, go yeah. check it out. But like, I don't know. Like, realist- All right. I want a realistic celebrity on the show. That's our goal for 2020. Get a celebrity. I mean, and you have had some. You've had Chris Stefano and Giannis Papas. Let's bring him back. I want to meet him. Yeah. I want to talk to him. Nice guys. Uh, you, you've had uh, Tim Dillon. Tim Dillon, you've had, who has been on Joe Rogan quite a bit. I actually recorded an episode with Andrew Schultz that never aired. I don't know because it's. I held on to it because. Uh, Get him in the th- studio. That was when. that w- Like, Schultz came like right before lockdown, and then I had that episode, and then I was going to wait to put it out because at that point I thought the lockdown was going to be like two weeks. And I was like, there's so much going on right now. I'm not just going to put this out like and just like, because yeah, I, yeah. I thought it would be insensitive. Is it a good show? Out. Good episode? I, 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 dude, it was a, like a year ago. Oh, <laughs> I can't remember. Yeah. Get Andrew Schultz back on here. Hey. You know, see whoever wants <clears throat> to come. Everyone, people that watch, they know someone. And we can help, we can figure it out. So pick someone. All right. Realistically, who do I want? Let's see. Who do I want? Who do I want? Who do I really like? You know? Um... I mean, it'd be easy to say people like Ryan Reynolds, but like... Yo, we should do that. That's a hot fucking guy. That'd be a hot guy. Let's just get Ryan Reynolds on and just fucking hit on him. I'll be like, yo, dude, we'll drink your gin. Whatever. I'll... uh, Yeah, yeah, I will. slam your gin. Yeah, I will. So let's go after him then. Ryan Reynolds? Yep. Let's get that Canadian bastard. That's a piece of fucking... Listen up. Hot bitch. You fucking super smoky, dreamy-eyed pussy. How about we... How about... (laughs) You're going to come on our show. I'm not even asking. I'm not. Yeah, you're You're going to come on the show. We're going to drink all of your gin. We're going to promote it for free. For free. (laughs) For free. And then you're going to tell me. Because you need our help. Yeah. And then you're going to tell me your workout regimen. And then tell me so I can go throw up in the bathroom. (laughs) Frankie's going to not do it. Yep. (laughs) Absolutely. Imagine running around, dude. That would be that would be fire. Yeah, yeah. Who yeah. else could we get? Like realistically, who from like the New York area could we get? I don't know, dude. Who lives in New York? I don't know. Rick Moranis just got punched on oh, the upper west side. Let's get Rick Moranis. Ask him about the punch. Let's ask him about not even just that, but like the you know, honey, I shrunk the kids and Ghostbusters. Yeah, we're gonna ask him like, did it hurt when they shrank you on set? That's Dark Helmet, baby. We can get Dark Helmet on here. Wow, spaceballs. Yeah. Uh, who else? Uma Thurman. I bumped into her once in Manhattan. Let's do it. Uma Thurman, She's wow. She's fucking huge, dude. Is she is giant. She looks, she reminds me of like a, like a really intense... Yo, I bumped, I literally was standing at the corner and like she pulled up next to me with her dog and I just like looked up at her. Wow. Yo, she's tall. She's like 6'2". Stop. She's, you're 6'1", aren't you? She, I'm six foot. She might be shorter. But she's tall. You yeah. know what I mean? Big, like, big girl. She's a big woman. She reminds me of like a very intense like... Exotic bird. You know, let her daughter, Maya Hawk, was on Stranger Things. Let's get her. That might be real, too. Who's that? She uh, she, she was in Stranger Things, the most recent season. Which one? Who was she? She was a girl in the, in the uh, Sailor's Ahoy uh, outfit. Oh, I liked her. She yeah, was yeah. Cool. I thought she was really good. Let's get her on the show. Yeah, let's get a fucking, what's his name, with the hair? Joe Keery. Yeah, that let's guy. Let's do it. That guy, that guy, that guy. All right, so. Th- we got a list. Top three hottest guys you want to get on here. Well, we want we want to, we want to like, harass uh, Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds. We, we're going to harass him. He's hot. What other hot guys you realistically think we can get on here? Rick Moranis. Okay, all right. He's I an get, icon. Giancarlo Esposito. That's Gustavo Fring, baby. Oh, uh, but. Kind of good looking. What do we... What? I mean, we can just tell him that he's distinguished for an hour and a half. Can't we? I, that's up to you. I think we can. I absolutely think we can. Good actor. Great actor. Very stoic. That's that's a terrible that was it. impression. I got it. You just look like a hamster trying to that's smell That's what he does. Stuff. If you watch, he's... That's what hamsters look like. That's what... Well, then I guess that's what Giancarlo Esposito looks like. Anyone else? Anyone else that you realistically think you can get... Isn't your agent with fucking, you know, like, Warner <laughs> Brothers or something? <laughs> Can't you get, like, Jason Dude. Momoa to come on here and just mahalo? Whoa. Uh, let's go after him, too. He might be too... He no, might we'll be... tell him that, like, we love the ocean or whatever. Isn't he, like, big on recycling? <laughs> he likes the ocean. He does like... He likes that. I know that. We'll tell yeah. him, like, yo, we're gonna, like... We're, s- we're so pumped. We love 
hate plastic. We're gonna. Oh, I, I fuck plastic. I haven't had a straw in years. No straws on me. Actually, that's a lot. I had a straw thing yesterday. Don't take that to him, though. You dumb I'm idiot. I'm not talking to him yet. He watches this. That's true. You know, just I'll just be like, yo, look. If you ever want to come on, just let you know. It'll be fun. Where we are, Ohana. You know, mahalo, and then just fucking hang up. Cause yeah, yeah. that's what gets him. <clears throat> We're going to make him want it. We're going to make him want it. Yeah. So he can come on and just be like, yeah. <laughs> that's what he sounds like. He does. And him and I can sit next to each other and finally put to rest that oh. he doesn't look like me. Dude, I really hope that this show gets so out of hand to the point where we can have Jason Momoa on. Dude, we can. Dude, the only thing stopping us. Are you going to blame white people it, it, for this? Well, too? no, I'm not going to blame white people for it. <laughs> no, but like realistically, like we don't if we don't try, we don't know, Joey. Success know. is a mindset. If you don't put yourself in the mindset to be successful, you're not even going to be able to become successful. <clears throat> okay. I I think that we could that I, I'm, I'm hopeful for Ron, Ryan Reynolds because I feel like he would do it ironically. That would like be, he'd be funny. Like, he'd be like, all right, these guys are kind of fucking stupid. I'm but, gonna like, but like, if he just him. comes on and just says like, I'm not coming on, fuck you, we win. We, he's on. We win. We's on. We win. If he just literally sends me a message that says, fuck off, he came on the show. Or we ask his wife, Blake Lively, to send in a message saying, my husband doesn't want to be on your hot show. We That's, got, we're hot. We're hot. That's to look Blake need. Lively, we're hot. Yeah, exactly. You know, could yeah. we could we get Natalie Portman? Um, I know we went from guys to women now, but could we get Natalie Portman? She like loves, so she loves, artistic. she loves the arts. She loves the she arts. She loves the earth, and she loves college. Like she went to Harvard. You went to college. This is Earth. There's art behind you. Three Natalie. Years. Come on. Natalie Portman's coming on. Come on down. Well, she's she's later on. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, I think, is top priority. I think that I, I really think we had everyone be... attack Kelly Clark. Well, attacks the oh, hardware. Hold on. <laughs> Take it easy. Yeah, we can't be using these words because, you know, obviously there was a... Yeah. Yes, oh, we'll get to that. Yesterday there was a there was a storming on the Capitol, so we can't be too crazy with our words right we now. We don't want to incite anything. Anything, because you know? that would be inappropriate and irresponsible yeah. of people with no power, right? Right. So yeah. people who have a lot of power... Maybe don't. Probably shouldn't. Maybe don't incite riots. Maybe don't. J but but just maybe. Uh, you know, a little twinge of maybe on there. Yeah. And then, guys, so reach out to Ryan Reynolds. He's pretty active on social media, my understanding. And he's a funny man. He's a very funny guy. And honestly, he's been. I'm upset by him though. What did he do? Because he's really he's clever. And I feel like it, all his tweets are like well thought out and shit. And it's like, dude, we get it. You're hot. He you're in shape. Pick you're clever one. and shit. Fuck off. Pick one. If you're going to be funny, you need to become a fat piece of shit. Yeah. If you're going to be good looking, stop tweeting. And that gin better taste like shit. I've been told, a buddy from the stream has told me that that gin is quite delicious. It better taste like shit. Do you want it? If he has a good gin too, I'm just going to yell, I'm just gonna yell at him. I know, I know exactly what we got to do. I'm not going to say it on here because I always, I write checks that my, my, my mouth can't cash. Is that it? You went to butt. I went to butt. <laughs> I heard butt. <laughs> you, I went down underneath. Yeah, it was yeah. going to butt. <laughs> Uh, but uh, remind me after the show. I gotta tell you. Uh, how much time we got? We're good. We're good. We're good. No, it's over here. I gotta look. Okay. No, we're fine. We're still recording, right? Yeah, we are. Uh, I, I, I don't remember. You were saying a whole bunch, and I said a whole nothing. <laughs> the point is, we're gonna get Ryan Rounds on the show. We're gonna have. We're gonna. We'll go out. We'll even purchase the fucking whiskey. What's it called? Not the whiskey. Gin. It's gin. Well, now he's not coming. All right, the There's Rock. That. Let's get the Rock's tequila. That's going to be tough. That's going to be tough. He's all about being, like, cool and serious. The Rock on here. The, oh, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. <laughs> I've been up since yesterday at 5 a.m. I magic. had seven bucks in my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I had 100 fish today. Yeah. It's like, God damn. Dude, yo. Like, what was your diet yesterday? 70 pounds of fucking tilapia, you geek? Yeah. He would destroy me. Please don't say the word geek. He would fuck he would kill you. me up. Yeah. It was fucking... You met The Rock. He is. He's a great guy. He's very funny. And the first thing that Joey told me about meeting The Rock, true story, was I go, yo, is he like massive in, in real life? And Joey was like, he's not tall. He's just deep. Yeah, he's mad From deep. His chest well, he's <laughs> to he's his like back is like 12 feet. Dude, this guy is a big dude. So like, he's not like... He's not tall. Like a... He's like 6'1", right? I don't know. He's not like, you know, fucking larger than life looking. But this dude's deep. Like, his, he's just like, I'm like, the first thing I told him too is like, you're a lot smaller in person. And he's like, ha oh. yeah. <laughs> ha. 
you don't give me that Samoan laugh. Ah. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah. Oh. <laughs> That's what he does. You ever, see any, yeah, you ever see any of those pictures where it's like, will, he ever, get, will he ever cuff that link? Uh, <laughs> will he ever hold this cuff link? I really think we I'm could getting get, dressed. We could get, or we can get a wrestler on here. New Japan Pro Wrestling fucking stud Jay White watches the show. Shout out to my buddy Jay White. New Japan? <laughs> you clearly aren't as in touch with the wrestling scene, Joey. Well, I, I know about old Japan. <laughs> Oh, man. oh fuck! We're funny. getting people. We're getting ourselves in trouble this episode. I mean, this is weird. This is the ba- This is the basement yard. This Patreon. show has slowly gotten more offensive. A lo- slowly. Like, two months from now, I don't know what we're gonna say. I've been on since. Do you remember when I came on and you were like, "Yo, like, just be yourself. Don't worry about it." Like, yeah. you know. And at first, I was like. Dude, that is a great concept, but the the, the gays yeah, have been yeah. oppressed, you yeah. know. And now I'm like, Bleh. yeah, I know it's it's a it's a thing. I'm sweating too. Yeah, it's nice in here. Oh man, won't you? So, um, The Rock, Ryan Reynolds, who else like would do it like ironically, seriously, like ironically and seriously? I don't know. You think we get Justin Timberlake? I don't. Absolutely not. Hey man, what's up? Oh, so that's Mike Tyson. That, no, that's Justin Timberlake. You could probably get Mike Tyson, honestly, but I'm afraid to talk no, to him. No, I would never want to talk I have to nothing him. to say to him. I would I would just apologize for nothing the whole time. <laughs> just like, I'm sorry. Yeah, you know? like, oh, dude. He's like, he could, oh. yo, there is, that is one of the only people on this planet that both of us in a room with him, there's nothing we could do. If he wants to kill us, we're dead. Mm-hmm. Just him and us two, it's not like, all right, there's two of us, we'll be okay. It's two on Mike Tyson. Yeah. We'd be dead. Even if we started in, like, an advantage point, like, if we were both on top of him, I'm pretty confident we lose. Yeah. Like, they're, like, they're, like, like I'm sure, like, fucking Conor McGregor would beat our ass, too. And, oh, I'm sure of that as well. You know? But, like, he's the only one that I would, like, I'd be a f- more afraid of Tyson than I would Conor. Yeah. Because I feel like... Because Tyson's not hitting you. I feel you. like Conor McGregor would, like, crack a joke at one point. Like, Tyson would just be like, I'm literally going to chew on your penis. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, he, yes, he would. Like, M- like, McGregor's hitting you to not get up. Tyson's hitting you to kill you. Yeah. Like, there's a difference there. Stark difference. Stark. Robert Downey Jr. That's a big ask. That'll never happen. He lives in a windmill. What? You know that. No. He lives in a windmill. Why? I thought only, like... Fucking people that wear like Lederhosen do that. And, uh, no, I think leprechauns also live. <laughs> yeah, but he lives in a windmill. I saw his leprechauns he, live in rainbows, Joey. They don't live in the rainbow. They live in rainbows. No, they don't. Uh, right outside of a rainbow. Rainbow. No, adjacent. they hide their pot of gold there. And you think they're not going to live where they hide their gold? Well, I don't know if they hide it there. I think they just can't conceal the rainbow that the gold like makes. Which I don't kinda... think the gold is made by the rainbow. I think that it's just put there. And like the light refracts off of the gold. Why would they do that? Like everyone knows. Why would they not live next to their gold to keep an eye on it? If they're going to say this is where my gold is, we're arguing different points. We're arguing. My point is, the gold makes the rainbow. They don't bring the gold to the rainbow. Yes. So why would they not live directly next to their gold if they want to protect it? But they don't live in a rainbow. Is my point. They but they technically live around a around a rainbow rainbow adjacent. Yes, rainbow adjacent. Yes. Or parallel, parallel. <laughs> I don't think you realize what parallel. you... Parallel. Parallel and adjacent are the same thing. Okay. In a way. I mean, I guess Isn't not. Isn't adjacent like... Adjacent is just next to. Parallel is like they go in the same direction right, and never yeah, touch. Yeah, yeah, so yeah, technically, yeah. they could be things that... Or perpendicular. Those touch at a right angle. They do. I remember those lines. That was, I was good at math. Geometry. Yeah, I was very good at math. It's not math. It is. Geometry? It's math. Part of it? I don't know. I think it is. I think so, too. Uh-oh. Now you got me questioning if geometry is math. I don't know. It's like shapes and shit. I think it is. Yeah. Like, like, like you know, like oh, pi yeah, r yeah. squared. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, pies. fucking two, two, one, half br. Half br? I, I, I don't... <laughs> What's the triangle area again? Isosceles. <laughs> All right. Do you know what an isosceles triangle is? It's a triangle that is uh, it has unequal sides. Or yes, yes. Okay. Yes, thank yes. God. Fucking Jesus. So triangle is three sides. What's four? Square. Okay. 
or rectangle. <clears throat> yeah. Because not all squares are rectangles, but all rectangles are not all squ- rectangles are squares, but all squares are rectangles. What's five? Five is a hexagon. Nope. Five is a pentagon. Yep. What's six? That's a hexagon. Seven. S- septagon? No. Hepta. Close. Heptagon. Eight. Uh, that's an octagon. Nine. Decepticon. <laughs> Confidence. <laughs> is it a Decepticon? Is it? It's a. It's a nonagon. I, I think it's. Uh, Na- I nonagon. No, nenagon or something like nanagon. that. Nenagon. No, I don't remember what nine is. But ten is dodecagon. That I remember. Damn, dude, that sounds very dangerous. That sounds awesome, That's right? Like a dangerous ship. Like, yo, like what hit you? A fucking dodecagon. Oh my god. Or like you're playing a kid in like third grade, and he's like, oh, yo, you got a Charizard? That's great. Don't get dodecagon. <laughs> and you're like, yo, fuck. <laughs> you know what I mean? He puts out all fucking pieces of Exodia, and then you just hit him with a dodecagon. <laughs> Uh, I hear you. Dude, I'm telling you right now, buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards before they go through the roof like Pokemon cards did. Oh, man, I'm going to do that. I'm going to do it. Can I, have a, can I have a raise? I'd rather buy a Bitcoin. Fuck a Bitcoin. It's going up. Yeah, well, you're going to buy Bitcoin for $30,000 right now, and 39. then it'll go up to thirty one. dollars What's that, thirty nine? If you bought Bitcoin in 2012 and it was a penny for a stock... Yo, I had Could the opportunity... Could you imagine? I, bought, I, I had the opportunity to buy two Bitcoins... I think it was like 400 bucks. Can you imagine? And I did not. I mean, that'd be insane. But you would only be $60,000 rich right now. I mean, that's pretty good though. 60 grand? No, the, when it was a penny, a stock. Oh, well, yeah. And people bought like, yo, like, let me get like $7 worth. Then you would be for life. Yeah, you'd be set for life. I, I don't know if I'd be able to make it. What does that mean? If I, like, I always think like if I had that much money, like I would be too reckless. Would you buy dumb shit? No. But I wouldn't... Like, there'd be no part of my brain that's like, I have to have responsibilities right now. I thought... Like, yo, I kid you not. Like, these people that like... That's why I don't play like Mega Millions. Because I, my, I cannot comprehend the concept of winning that much money and being a normal human being. Yeah, because like when you, when you win, you know, $150 million, it's like, oh, I have responsible money. And like, let's just say that's a million dollars. It's not. It's way less. But let's just say that. You have and then you have a hundred and forty nine million dollars to be like <laughs> let's just do this. Dude, I always think about that woman like two years ago that when the Mega Millions or the jackpot got I don't remember the difference. When it got to a billion dollars. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you get because they say like if you get it up front, you get like fifty five percent or something. Right. And if you go get it through like ten years, you get it. Like seventy percent. You take I, that lump sum every time, though. I don't know. That's the only. If it was a billion dollars, no, you take it and then you you let it you invest it so that you make more money doing that than you would just getting this money over. The I don't know. Of I I just like. That's why I can't play those things. One because I think it's a waste of money because it's it's a scam. First of all, the chances of winning are like one in like thirty billion. Put lottery tickets just to cheese. Uh, you, you heard a, cheese. You heard he apparently fucked Jeffrey Star. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. We didn't talk. How did we not? Well, you want to leave that for next week? We will. We will. Kanye West, Jeffree Star coming next week. Oh, yeah. It's a big rumor. I'm going to do some research. You know what? I will, too. And even if I find out concretely that it's not true. It's still true. I'm going to find truth in it. Yeah. Kanye, you don't want it to be true. Come on the show. Explain yourself. He'll come on the show and it would be a bad idea. You know that, right? He'll come on and be like, I'm just letting you know. That was bad. I'm sorry. All right. Goodbye. <laughs> Frank Alvarez. Leave Frank Alvarez on Instagram. Uh, F Alvarez8085 on Twitter. And Twitch. F Alvarez8085 on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me. And then I'm competing in the movie trivia showdown where I'm going to be putting my movie trivia muscles to the test. Go check them out at uh, movie trivia showdown on Instagram. Uh, YouTube. Patreon, <clears throat> everywhere. 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 They're the fucking greatest. I'm going to whoop ass. Yes. When is that again? Uh, the draft is at the end of January. I don't know where I'm going to be yet, but, uh, I was talking to the guy, Christian Harloff that sets it up and he's like, yo, if we do a live show in New York and you're competing for a belt, I said, I was like, I'm bringing the fucking cavalry. Yeah, if I we're, do, we're all going, I'm going to like, I'll start that. That's when I'll start a riot. There we go. You know? Yeah. Go. <laughs> go. Uh, guys go follow the show at the basement yard on TikTok and, and, uh, Instagram. And, uh, yeah, go check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash thebasementyard. You get every episode a week ahead, and you get an extra episode every single week, and you get access to all of our old episodes. 
um, all of our old like extra episodes um, on there as well. And uh, yeah, that is all. See you guys next time. Yeah. <laughs>